Back in the old days of film photography, my parents would write notes about the picture on the back, and sometimes right on the margin of the front. Yeah, that's me they're holding. Now that they're gone, I treasure those notes just as much as the pictures themselves. But in the new age of digital photography, how do you write notes on the back of a digital image? Actually, writing notes on digital pictures is easier than ever, and the tools to do it are built right into your Windows 10 operating system. Every time your camera or cell phone takes a picture, it stores an EXIF metadata file right inside the image file. One of the things it stores in that file is a smaller thumbnail of your picture. It is those thumbnail images that you see here. To see the rest of the items stored in the EXIF file, right-click on the thumbnail image, click on Properties, and select the Details tab. Let's zoom in. Your camera created this metadata file and stored it right inside of your image. It includes such items as the date taken, the size of the picture, information about your camera, what f-stop was used, what speed. Also, the, if your camera was so equipped, it may store the GPS data, the latitude and longitude of where this picture was taken. If your camera did not have GPS or GPS was not turned on, you will not see any GPS data in the EXIF metadata file. Most cameras don't have GPS, but most cell phones do, and it's estimated that 85% of all pictures taken these days are taken with a cell phone. Including GPS coordinates in the image is called geotagging. This allows you to record exactly where an image was taken and to locate that image on a map. By default, geotagging is probably turned off on your phone to save battery power. If you want to turn it back on, click on the gear icon in your camera app to go to settings. Here in your phone's camera settings, you can turn geotagging on or off. Your image may contain additional metadata files, including IPTC and XMP. These can be accessed with various programs, including Adobe Bridge, which is available for free from adobe.com. But the built-in Windows Explorer only gives you access to the EXIF data. So your camera has done most of the work for you. But there are some things that your camera doesn't know, so it has left those items blank ready for you to fill in. So let's do that now for this image. First, the title. This is the Sacagawea coin. For subject, let's say front and back. For rating, you can use any system you want to rate yours. I'm going to give it one star just to say that I've filled in the metadata for this image. Tags, you can put anything you want to help you search for this in the future. So let's do coin, Sacagawea, two thousand. P for Philadelphia Mint, and so on. Comments, you can put anything you want, the story about this picture or image. I'm going to say author. I took the picture, so I'll list myself as the author. Date acquired, a date that I acquired this coin. Copyright by me. 
And that'll do for now. Hit apply to make sure you save your what you've put in. You also have the ability to remove any properties that you do not want to keep. In this case, if I had taken the picture at a museum, the latitude and longitude might be important for me to geotag this image. But given this is my personal collection and I don't want to tell potential thieves where it is stored, I may want to remove the GPS data. So we'll hit remove properties. Here you have the option to remove all of the metadata and or you can remove selected items. In this case, we'll scroll down to GPS data. Remove the latitude, longitude, and the altitude. Hit OK. And now you'll see that the GPS data is no longer listed in the metadata. This window only allows you to edit one image at a time. But there is another way which will allow you to edit multiple images at once. Let's check that out. To do that from your Explorer window, click on View. From the View menu, you can turn on or off the Navigation pane. The Navigation pane helps you move quickly between your Windows folders. From here, you can also turn on the Preview pane, which lets you see enlargements of, from your various thumbnails. Or you can turn on the Details pane, which shows you a subset of the EXIF metadata. Not all of the metadata items show up here, but the ones you're most likely going to want to edit will show up here. Of course, you can change which items show up here. All you have to do is make those edits in the Windows registry. OK, let's just go with the defaults. To select multiple pictures, hold the control key and click each picture. Or just select the first picture, hold the shift key, select the last picture, and you've selected all of them. Now, I took all of these pictures at our DGMG mineral show in February. So Let's go down to Author, put Bob Johnson, OK, and let's see, Title, I'll say DGMG 2019 Show. Now, you must hit Save to save your entries. Now, all every one of these individual pictures has my name and the title for it. Now these, let's select all the fossil pictures. And I want to add a comment. These are amazing replicas, not the actual fossils. Save. Now, each one of these has that comment in there. And let's go to this individual one. And we can add the subject, Q-U-A-R-T-Z, heart. Save. And now we've added the individual subject for that picture. Again, you can access the, the ability to remove individual properties. Just do a left click and select Remove Properties. We have the same choices to remove all the properties or to remove individual properties from a picture. Editing image EXIF metadata in Windows 10. Now you know.